This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at Finaki. It's a model for generating videos from text with prompts that can change over time and videos that can be as long as multiple minutes. Previously, we had seen Google Image N, which could create videos from text. Before that, there was Meta AI with their make a video with which you can create videos from text. Now comes this new AI model called Fenaki. Okay, so what is the difference between these models? Here what they say is that your prompts can change over time and videos can also be long as multiple minutes. For example, if you look at the prompts used for this particular video over here, it is a teddy bear, a photorealistic teddy bear is swimming in the ocean at San Francisco. The teddy bear goes under the water. The teddy bear keeps swimming under the water with colorful fishes. Then it changes to a panda bear is swimming under water. So you can see the colorful fishes have come and slowly the teddy bear is morphing into a panda bear. Okay, another video over here. A teddy bear is diving in the ocean. Teddy bear emerges from the water. Teddy bear walks on the beach. Camera zooms out of the teddy bear in the campfire by the beach. Again, look at the video. Teddy bear is diving in the ocean. Then the teddy bear emerges from the water. Right? If you wait for some seconds, the teddy you will see that the teddy bear is emerging from the water. Then it walks on the beach. Then the camera zooms out of the teddy bear in the campfire by the beach. It's amazing how this video has transformed based on the prompts. Right? And this is a continuous video. So this is quite amazing, right? So now let's look at an interactive example over here. This is about an astronaut and then you can choose the context words. So for example, I would choose swimming, right? And then I would choose on Mars with Earth in the background. See the video which has been generated. It's actually quite amazing. If I were to change it to riding a horse on Mars, with earth as a background or say in the park at the sunshine. So you can see how based on the different prompts, the video is continuously changing. That is what is, was shown over here, right? Then this is given a still image and a prompt. How does the video get generated? For example, camera zooms quickly into the eye of the cat. So you have the eye of the cat or the cat is the starting frame and based on the text, the video keeps changing, right? White cat yawns loudly. So there is this example of a 2.5 minutes video which has been generated based on a story. Okay. First person view of riding a motorcycle through a busy street. First person view of riding through a busy road in the woods. See the woods over here. First person view of very slowly riding a motorcycle in the woods. This one. So this entire 2.28 minutes video has been generated based on these prompts and as and when the prompts change. So this is something different from your previous video generation tools like Google image and a video or say meta AI make a video, right? So that is the difference over here in this particular uh, new model called Fenaki. I'm not sure if the pronunciation is right. I'm just pronouncing as uh, the as the letters over here. So Fenaki. Okay. So they also have a paper where they discuss the encoder, decoder, architecture and other things over here of how they have generated these videos. Okay. So let's just quickly look into that. So this is the example which um, they have given in that web page as well. Let me zoom in a little bit over here. Yeah. So it says a photorealistic teddy bear is swimming in the ocean at San Francisco. This is the first one. The second prompt is goes underwater. Third prompt is with colorful fishes and it becomes a panda bear. So here they are saying is that time variable text. That is a story, right? Conditional video generation. So how do you generate a video for a story? The entire figure is one continuous video generated autoregressively. We start by generating the video condition on the first prompt and then after a couple of frames, we change the prompt to the next one and so on. Okay. The model manages to preserve the temporal uh, coherence of the video while adapting to the new prompt, usually taking the shortest path 
basically see over here the adaption has happened that uh, you know this teddy has morphed into a panda over here and this video also includes complex visual features such as reflections occultions interactions and scene transitions so this is quite amazing uh, you have a lot of other videos that's what they have mentioned over here and here if you look at uh, this particular uh, architecture so this is the architecture which they have used so there is something called as a CVIVIT. VIVIT stands for Video Vision Image Transformer. Okay. So here they have used something called as a CVIVIT encoder architecture. The embeddings of the images and video patches from raw frames X okay, are processed by a spatial and then a causal transformer and you get some video tokens in your training data. Okay. Then in the center you have a masked GIT is trained to reconstruct the masked token. So here what they do is that they get some video tokens. In the video token some masking is done. There is this text prompt which comes which is given to a T5 transformer. And then there is this transformer which takes this text embeddings and this masked video and it tries to generate video over here. Video tokens. Okay. And then you have the video generation part where uh, this can generate arbitrary long videos by freezing the past token. So you have the first prompt and you get, you know, this transformer from which, uh, you know, it, these uh, text tokens are given as input and from the training data it has learned and it is producing video tokens. And then what happens is that when the next prompt comes, some of these tokens are frozen. There is a shift in time and then it predicts the next video token, right? From that, it kinds of generates the video. This is at a very high level. This is a really complex model if you are to get into the details, but at a very high level, this is the idea. So from, you know, you are uh, text image pairs or text uh, video pairs, this particular training is done over here. Okay. And a transformer model is uh, present, a frozen transformer model, which can generate video tokens. Okay. From the video tokens based on the prompt, it can generate newer video tokens. So that is what is happening over here in the video generation. This is at a very high level. Okay. So they have given the idea over here. So they call this CVIVIT as nothing but a causal variation of the vision video vision transformer with additional architectural changes for video generation, which can compress the videos in temporal and spatial dimensions while staying autoregressive in time. So this capability allows for generating videos of arbitrary length autoregressively. So they have uh, given details of this encoder architecture over here. Um, then they talk about the decoder, the quantization losses and what is the novelty over here. Okay. So that is what is explained uh, in this particular uh, paper. So then they uh, test it on various tasks like text conditional video generation, which is what we saw. Text image conditional video generation. That is the second one which we saw over here, which is the text image video conditional generation. That is the conditional video generation second. Time variable text conditional video generation. That is story mode. Given four or five prompts, how does it generate? Okay. And other things over here. Right. So if you look at uh, what kind of data did they use for, uh, you know, uh, text to image and text to video training. Uh, so what they do over here is that uh, they have used a particular data set, which they have mentioned about um, somewhere over here. Uh, uh, so this MIT data set moments in time data set, which contains 802K training, 33K validation and 67K test videos. In contrast to this thing, it's a highly balanced data set with high coverage and density of words, verbs, basically depicting moments of few seconds. So this is what they use for uh, generating, you know, for uh, training. Okay. Because you need these image text pairs or a video text pairs, right? For training this particular uh, CVIT encoder. So that is a data set which uh, they have used at a very high level. That's what I've understood. Uh, they kind of use that over here uh, for video encoding. That is the data set which uh, they have used. So this is that again that animating images conditioned on a prompt. So this model is quite complex and to understand this model we need to understand a lot of other uh, 
models which are being used like what is a spatial um, transformer what is a causal transformer what is this vvit which is vision sorry video vision image uh, transformer so those things needs to be understood but a high level the idea is this given some training data of uh, short videos plus text you can train some transformer model to generate video tokens and then you can condition generation of video tokens based on the prompt that is how you are able to generate a continuous video this is a relatively new development and uh, this is quite exciting and the pace at which this is happening is amazing because it's been some weeks before meta ai published the paper and then you had google image and video and now you have fenaki again from uh, google okay so when i looked at the authors over here it's from uh, google google uh, yeah google brain basically um, some university of college of london university of michigan so yeah again this is from google so this is a very interesting model i hope some of these models get open sourced in future or you know maybe they provide some kind of an api access to them in a paid way or something to test out and see if we can generate some very good videos out of it i hope you like this video if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video